Hi and welcome back to Scotty's Tech.info. I'm Scotty with my co-host Cletus. File history is Windows 10's incremental backup feature, and frankly, it's pretty sassy when it actually works. Uh, you may fire it up, set it all up, it may work for weeks, months, even years, and then one day it stops working. You see an error message like this that might pop up in a little window, giving you an obscure error code, which means something about incorrect permissions. Uh, you can also go into Windows Event Viewer, and you'll see something like this. You'll get Event ID 201, uh, and the message is that uh, Windows is unable to read your user folders and files. So what's actually going on here? Well, even though file history is pretty awesome, uh, generally what happens is it uh, starts to take a backup of all your files, and it reaches one file. What it should do is actually go, ah, I can't read that file, let me skip over it and just back up all the rest of your files. But that's not what happens. It encounters that one troublesome file, and it says, you know, I think I'm just going to take the rest of the day off, and it doesn't back up anything. And then you're in trouble. Now, if you Google file history error, you will find um, tons and tons of solutions. Uh, I have tried every single one of them. None of them has worked. But there is one solution that actually works every single time. So what we're going to do is we're going to click the Start button and type Backup. And then you're going to click on Backup Settings. That's going to take you to File History Settings. As you can see here, it's on. Uh, you're going to click More Options. What we're going to do here is we're going to go through each of these folders. Here it says back up these folders. That's a list of all the files and folders that file history is backing up. And down here you have exclude these folders. Those are the folders that it is not going to back up. So because we have one file that's borking the entire file history backup, what we need to do is go through this whole list of folders and exclude them one by one and then try to run the backup again. So like we could start with uh, saved games. So we come down here and say exclude, add a folder, and we're going to go into the users folder, and where's saved games? Okay, so let's choose that folder. Let's exclude it. Now down here you can see I've excluded saved games. Now I'm going to click the backup now button again. Now, if it says backing up your data there, uh, it'll say that for a few seconds. If after maybe 30 seconds or so it aborts and it takes you back to this screen and it says your data is not backed up, then what you need to do is come down here, click the folder you have just excluded, and go, all right, it wasn't that one. Let me try the next one in the list. Okay, it's links. So you come down here, you exclude the links folder, and so on and so forth. At some point, file history will start working and the backup will actually complete. That's when you know that you have found the folder that contains the problematic file. Okay, so now you know which folder has the file that's causing file history to just completely collapse. But how do you know which file it is? Well, it turns out that file history has problems with three different types of files. The first is it does not like extremely long file names. The second thing that causes problems is file names that contain accented characters. And the third thing is file names that contain certain punctuation marks, even parentheses, which are actually valid in file names, but for some reason file history doesn't like them. So what you're going to need to do is go through the files one by one and see if you can find one that has some sort of, uh, maybe it has an accented character and parentheses, and you just click on that file, and you rename it to something else, something more sane, and then you try to run the backup again. And if it doesn't work, then you pick the next file. And it's kind of a tedious process, but there are a few tricks you can use to figure out where your bad file is located. Say you discover that uh, the problematic file is in your pictures folder. Well, think about it. Uh, let's see, my file history stopped working on January 6th. What did I put in my pictures folder on January 6th? Ah, Christmas photos. Okay, now I know that it stopped working on January 6th. I copied my Christmas photos over, say, January 5th. File history died. Now I've narrowed it down, and I know that it's one of my Christmas photos. I can just go through those. There's a trick you can use to find out which of your files is screwing things up. 
And the way you do that is like this. Let's say that you've excluded the pictures folder from file history and boom, it worked. That means you know that the problematic file is in your pictures folder. So what you can do is open up File Explorer here, and you can see in the search box here, I did something sneaky. I typed date modified colon space, and then one date, period, period, and another date. So what this is doing is it's refining my search. So it's showing me only the pictures in my pictures library that were created or modified between December 1st and January 7th. Since I know that my file history stopped working on January 6th, this is going to give me only these images that might be the problem. For more techie tips, see scottystech.info. Thanks for watching. See you next time.